Hello there. So today I'll be uh, giving a demonstration of how do you clean a CanWrite Relic fountain pen. So this is a nice fountain pen made by the Indian company CanWrite. Uh, probably I'll describe the parts and a review in some other video. But for today we'll see how to take this pen apart and clean it. So this is a nice slip on cap. You remove the cap, you place it aside. You don't need to clean that. This one features a hooded nib. And as you can see, the nib is, it's a semi hooded nib. It's not a completely hooded nib. The nib protrudes out of this hood here. And what we are going to do is see how we can clean this. The challenge with hooded nibs is it's typically very, very difficult to take this apart. Now this pen comes with a converter. Uh, so you just have to, and it comes with a screw in type of converter. It's not one of those pull and push type. It's not a friction fit converter. So you have to screw it out. So you have the threads here. And usually what I do is before I put it in, I usually silicone grease, add some silicone grease to the thread so that the ink won't leak. So you can see some silicone grease in here. So I'm going to keep this here and I'm going to clean the converter later. The next part is that you want to remove this section. You want to open this section. So how do you do that? Grab a piece of cloth or probably a rubber or something like that. If you have a rubber that's nothing like it because it will help you grip it properly. So a lot of people suggest that the best thing to use for this purpose is the a piece of rubber that you can get from the tube of the bicycles. I don't have it right now so I'm going to have to make do with the cloth. So you hold this portion very tightly and you twist the section. You twist the section in the anti-clockwise direction. So you twist it. You see that this portion comes out. So I'm going to place that here. So you have the converter. You have the thing that holds together. The barrel is clean. So we'll just put that aside. So we don't need the barrel as such. So we have two parts that we have already removed. Now here, I don't know if I can focus it a bit. So you have the nib and the feed essentially. So that is what you next need to take out. So how do you do that? So you just hold it by the feed here and pull it out. So here you have the entire section which you can clean up. I'm going to place that thing here. Now, since this has a bit of an ink, let me hold the towel here. Just clean it up a bit. So it's easier for me to hold. It has pilot black, which is a waterproof ink. So it will take a while for it to get out of my hands. Anyway, so you can see here, this one has this housing unit, which houses the nib. And inside that, there is what looks like an ebonite feed. And there is the canrite medium nib. It says M there. So it's a medium nib. So I'm going to, we can remove this nib. So you hold the housing unit tightly and then this nib is friction fit. So you can just hold the nib and the feet together and just pull it out like this. So there you have the housing unit. I'm going to place that the housing unit is here. And what is left is the feed and the nib the feed and the nib so now we need to clean this you focus so you have these various parts so you've disassembled the pen so what do you need next first i'm going to clean the converter so my style of cleaning the converter is a bit odd so what i do is i just pull it all the way back take some water or have this water here and take an empty cup then what you do is you dip your converter and make sure that the end is towards the end the piston is towards the end and then you rotate to fill it with water you can see that it doesn't do a great job here so i mean that's that's the problem it's just to demonstrate so this is why this does not work and hence what i do is i use a, a simple syringe draw in some water 
put the needle into the converter here and keep pushing out till the ink drops out cleanly. You do this a few times. You have to do it some three, four times until you know all the ink in there actually comes out. And it starts looking a bit clearer. So you can see that the converter is already looking a bit clearer than what it was before. Do it three, four times until it looks a little bit more clear. And then you can wipe it off, wipe off the extra ink or the residue with a tissue or a cloth. So inject water in essentially and then whatever is left out here now you can see that there's little bit of water here in the converter so you just shake it up nice and vigorously. So if there is any remnant of ink that's going to you know, uh, catch that so there you have it we have washed the converter we just need to wipe it dry now. So there you have it. So there you have it. I mean the converter is more or less clean. What do you do with the rest? Well, here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this water and I'm going to dip these parts so that the ink comes out. Each of these parts can be just dropped in there, including the nib and the feed. We just put that, leave it for a while to settle down. I mean, if you have an ultrasonic cleaner or something like that, this would have made the job much more easier because it will, you know, vibrate in a very, very gentle manner, thereby cleaning the parts to remove the ink from you know places where it would have probably gotten stuck but this should be good enough I mean you don't need anything beyond that if it's really really sticky you can probably add a couple of drops of the dishwashing liquid that's what is recommended but in this particular case it doesn't look like we may need that anyway so so this is what you do to uh, clean it up see I'm able to see that there is not much of ink left here this one already looks clean the hood this the section rather so I'm going to take some tissue paper wipe it to dry there'll be ink in there'll be water inside so you need to keep it aside to dry so I'm just going to keep it on the tissue paper here uh, off, off camera. Similarly this section let's see how clean this is. This side no problems looks like there is some amount of ink and that might be the silicon grease actually which is there so this one might need some dishwashing liquid which uh, you can drop a couple of drops here and make the water a little soapy so that that ink goes away. Let's see if this is good. So I'm just going to run this cloth through this thing. Make sure that any ink that was stuck there is none here i mean i can see that it is pretty clean so i'm going to place this again to dry off so what are we left with we are left with the housing unit of the nib and as you can see here already it is free from any ink that might have been there so we just have to again even in this case probably we can run we dry it using a cloth first the outer portion the inner portion we are just going to don't push it too hard you may crack the 
housing unit you don't want to do that you just want to make sure that it gets in contact with the inner surface to absorb the water that is part 3 and then you have the feed now usually I just use my nails to once slowly run down the channel here so that if there is any gunk there it gets cleaned up and uh, the feed looks okay to me but the real test is you take a clean tissue paper you put the feed and let the tissue paper absorb the water now you can see if there was a lot of ink in the feed this would have been fully black I mean this was filled with black ink but that is not the case so it was just water so most of the ink is already gone away and that the channels look clean there is no gunk in there so we put that aside and finally the last piece you have is the nib right so what we are going to do again is we are going to put this in a tissue paper and just press it That should have dried the nib. I'm gonna put that aside. So let's now put the water away. We just put the water away. I'm going to turn this paper over, but that's still linked to there. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, and now let's see what are the parts that we need to put together again and focus at this level. So you have the section sorry you have the section you have the int connector you have the feed the nib and you have the housing unit so these are the five things that you have so first we are going to put the nib and the feed inside the housing unit how do you do that so what you do is you take the feed you take the nib we need to make sure that the the shoulder of the nib is aligned correctly with the feed in the correct location so I know this from uh, previous disassembly where the I mean this is the correct position typically but usually it's a good idea to make a mark of it from the side view I mean in this particular case from the side view you can make sure that you know the alignment of the nib here that the curve of the alignment of the nib actually coincides with the curve of the feed so that is one way to do this so you take the nib unit and now you are going to put it inside don't press too hard I did that mistake and already you can see that there is a little bit of crack that's not a huge that causes a leak but it has caused the housing unit to just open up a bit even though there is no hole uh, that's not something that you want all right that is done we are going to put the nip into the section so this is how it should look so we hold that and then this is the portion that we need to uh, put it inside so how do you know which one is it it's fairly straightforward it, there is only one thing that will go in cleanly so that's how you know it the other side doesn't <laughs> well there is one more way to uh, figure it out you figure out which one has the threads because you know that your converter is a threaded converter so the one which is has threads the one side which has threads should come outside but uh, there you have it we have assembled the the uh, unit here and uh, this wasn't right make sure that is good we have to put the converter back in and it's a screw in type converter so you do that we put the barrel back in and finally the cap so we have thus reassembled the whole canrite relic fountain pen so this is how you deep clean the pen and you put it back for further use 
that's all for today thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye